Hi, I'm John. I work at one of our Apple retail stores, and I'm going to give you a guided tour of MacBook Air, the world's thinnest notebook. With MacBook Air, we didn't just create a notebook that's amazingly thin. We included a full-size backlit keyboard and a stunning 13.3-inch widescreen display, all in a package that weighs only three pounds. At its thinnest point, it measures 0.16 inches, and at its maximum height, it's just 0.76 inches. It's made of sturdy aluminum and is durable enough to carry everywhere. MacBook Air ships with Mac OS X Leopard and iLife 08, and is optimized for the wireless world in a way that only Apple can do. It comes standard with the latest 802.11n and Bluetooth technology. And now I'd like to give you a closer look at MacBook Air and show you some of its innovative new features. I am here for you, if you'd only the top two places where manufacturers compromise when building compact soul. notebooks Change is on the keyboard and display. And we didn't. Love is blind, when you open up MacBook Air, you'll my see a gorgeous 13.3-inch widescreen display that instantly head. turns on to Shed full brightness the second you open it up. That's because it uses LEDs for backlighting, delivering a crisp picture while consuming less power. So whether you're showing off a keynote presentation or watching a movie, everything will look stunning. Unlike ordinary ultra portables that have small, cramped keyboards, MacBook Air has a full-size keyboard. That's a pleasure to type on. And it's backlit. Just like with our MacBook Pro, when a decrease in ambient light is detected, the keyboard automatically illuminates from behind. This is especially useful if you're working on an airplane or taking presentation notes in a darkened conference room. You can break my spirit. It's my dreams you take. Now let's take a look at the trackpad. Not only is it larger, but we've taken some of the multi-touch innovations we developed for the iPhone and adapted them for MacBook Air. You may be familiar with trackpad gestures on MacBook and MacBook Pro, such as two-finger tapping for a secondary click and two-finger scrolling. MacBook Air now allows you to pinch, swipe, and rotate so you can navigate your applications more efficiently. Let me show you. We've had our doubts, but you can use pinch to zoom in and out. It I works right in cover true. flow on the finder. I you simply place two fingers on the trackpad. You. Your thumb and forefinger work best and drag them outward Goodbye, while keeping contact with the trackpad. With pinch, you can easily switch between a larger icon view and a text view. Me. It works with Goodbye, Safari too. If you get Goodbye, to a page with small friend. text, just pinch to increase the, the font to a more readable size. You have to move back and forth through web pages, instead of hitting the forward and back buttons, you can use another gesture called swipe. Just use three fingers together. To page forward, swipe from left to right. To page backwards, swipe from right to left. These gestures work in iPhoto too. You can pinch to get a closer look at a shot. And swipe to move through a photo slideshow. You can also use a gesture to rotate photos. All you do is select the photo, place two fingers on the trackpad, and rotate your fingers. It's easy. Those are just a few of the things you can do with trackpad gestures. The system preferences on MacBook Air has demos on how to use them. The MagSafe power connector is located on the left side of MacBook Air. On the right side, all of the ports are hidden behind this little flip-down door. Simply pop it open and you'll find a headphone jack, USB port, and a new micro DVI port which not only supports so DVI, but VGA, composite, so and S-Video, so you can easily connect so projectors or external displays. So Above the display so is the built-in iSight so video camera and microphone, which you can use for video conferencing or having fun with photo booth. A green light to the right of the camera indicates when the camera is in use. MacBook Air comes with an Intel Core 2 dual processor, 2 gigabytes of memory, and an 80 gigabyte hard drive. There's also an optional 64 gigabyte solid state hard drive. Good afternoon, my name is Lee Sun in Google Lab and another iPhone service last Wednesday after realizing there was a programming language called Ajax. Google's new web application allows individuals to view their Picasa albums on their iPhone. You log into Picasa on your iPhone, the interface comes out and allows you to scroll through pictures and escape or portrait. That's all about iPhone. Have a nice day. Oh my God, I went back again.